Okay, hey guys, how are you? Congratulations on this, my God, nonstop action. I loved it, so thank you for it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> You're very welcome. Uh, Stephen, first off, I gotta ask you, you know, here we are five years later with these characters. But what I love about it the most, I think, and probably you guys as well, is that everybody's back. Yep. Everybody, it's the family. What was it like? the first day on set when you guys all reunited for this. Well, I mean, it's not just the people, it's not just the people in front of the camera, it's the people behind the camera. We've had, the, the vast majority of our crew have been with us since the short film. Not the first yeah. film, the, sh the short film. And uh, everyone, everyone that we could came back. If, if they, I think we, we lost our director of photography because he was having a, his first kid, like right as we were starting the movie. Um, <laughs> But no, it, it, um, every time that I've stepped on a Code 8 set, uh, which I stepped on my first one in, in 2017, um, or when we do stuff like this, when we do our press, it feels like family. It feels like a, feels like a high school reunion. It feels like all the, all the good things. Yeah, well, you get that feel, too. And Alex, for you, i got to say, I like it when you play the baddie. How much fun <laughs> did, you, did you have stepping it up playing him this time? Because... Whoa! I mean, okay. Oh, it's so <laughs> it's much. It was. It was a. It was a ton of fun. Um, too was, much. No, too much. No, it wasn't too much fun. It was great because listen, he gets to be evil, but then at the same time, there's that, that part of him that has to hide, and it was that was the most most fun trying to hide that. Yeah, but. You know, you didn't hide it so well. I did. I smiled a few times. You saw that. I mean, right? It was good. I, when I he hit. was with his wife, otherwise I don't know about that. Yeah. Oh no, when he was with the dog. The yeah, dog there you go, see? The, yeah. Yeah, the only exactly. people you need to be nice to, your wife and your dog. That's what you need, exactly. You know, see, yeah, for sure. Um, Steven, you know, reuniting with your with your best pal and, well, cousin, Robbie, yep. I love seeing you guys, and you have more scenes together in this one. Mm -hmm. um, what is it? Aside from being cousins and having grown up together, and then there was that break, you know, when now, of course, you're both in this amazing business. Why does it work so well with the two of you? Give me the secret. We like each other. Okay. That's pretty much it. Um, I've learned a lot from him from an acting perspective. He's a very practical, uh, takes, takes a very reasonable approach to things, likes to problem solve. He, uh, Robbie listens when we're in scenes. So he doesn't come in with a, he doesn't, he comes in prepared, but he doesn't come in anchored to any one idea on how to play a scene, which works very well for me because I always try to come in prepared and then you see your environment, you see what your scene partner's gonna do, you see all of these things. And Robbie lets things happen organically and that works very well for me. Good stuff. And Alex, for you, I want to talk to you. Uh, I want to go back to the dog, the robotic dog. Yeah. Because from what I understand, I mean, first of all, the special effects in this, fantastic. Play really, fight. Really yeah. Well done. But working with that robotic Cujo dog, now I understand at some <laughs> points there was a stuntman actually playing the dog. I mean, obviously with special effects, you're, you're sometimes acting towards nothing. But tell me a little bit about working with that because, you know, you spend a lot of time with that dog, right? Yeah, what, you want me to tell you about like a grown man in a gray suit doing rollover? Yeah, sure. Um, <laughs> it was it was uh, it was a lot of fun. It made the job a little difficult because King had to be King, and here's this person doing rollovers and sit and, and just commanding a grown man to say to sit is weird. Yeah, but it was tons of fun at the same time. Yeah, exactly. It all works so well. Now, Stephen, I want to ask you a little bit about working in Hamilton because I work for uh, mm -hmm. CH Morning Live, of course, in Hamilton, and a lot of the sh a lot of film was shot there. Why? Uh, what was the best location there, and and what did it enhance for the film to work in Hamilton? Well, I mean, just just being able to shoot, the, especially that. Um... I know the community center was there. My first scene of the movie was there, which is the last scene of the movie. But uh, particularly the the sort of the the standoff that I have with Garrett and um, uh, and then the guardians and that that whole that whole shootout. I mean that that location just I don't know just felt like Lincoln City and it was big and you know it allowed us it allowed us to shoot those long shots of the guardians and. Um, no, Hamilton was Hamilton was great. That was the beginning part of the production. 
Um, we needed it to be gray and cold and windy, and it was all of those things. You got what you needed. That's exactly right. <laughs> Although, with the, if you had shot in the weather now in Toronto, can yeah. you imagine? Like, what is going on here, uh, people? Listen, I, listen. I'm 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 in LA right now, and I'm walking my daughter to school, and it's like two Celsius. I'm like, what is happening? So. Right. Things are weird. So things are weird. Things are weird market. everywhere. Yeah, things are weird. Just yeah. stay inside and watch Code 8 Part 2. That's, That's what exactly right. This is exactly what people need to do. They need to stay inside and watch Code 8 Part 2. Okay, so Alex, you know, I, working with or being back with Robbie and Stephen, you know, what do you like so much about working with these guys? And you can be really honest, even though you're sitting next to them. He's glaring at me. Um, no, it's it's great to learn from them. They're so experienced and they're so good at what they do Thanks, that I get to I get to be a student every day on set you know and um, took a lot of notes from them so they're just wonderful teachers and, and wonderful leaders yeah yeah and Stephen just to wrap it up um, if you could do another series movie whatever with Robbie what would you guys want to do I, I, See you in a rom-com together. Not, not together. I understand. I no. It would be nice to. Do, it would be nice to do a comedy. It would also. It would also be nice to. Um, you never typically end after the second movie. I mean, there there are very there are famous sci-fi trilogies out there. So maybe we can set our sights there. If if you can avoid this weather and stay inside and watch Code Eight Part Two on Netflix. Well, I think a lot of people will be watching this. It, like I said, it, it's just an amazing story from the get-go and the support of the fans, because without that, you guys wouldn't be talking to me right now. So, uh, like I said, I'm one of them. I appreciate it. So, I'll keep my fingers crossed for that number three. I would love that. So, thank you both for your time today. I really appreciate it, and best of luck with everything. Thank, thank you, you so much. You. Take care.